Jay Amrati, Jay Andhra Pradesh. The verdict we've received in High Court today. We are all really happy, especially the farmers. This is a victory for the ladies who have been uh, leading the movement since 807 days, for the farmers who have given up the land for land pooling, and for each and every person who is a citizen of Andhra Pradesh. This is a victory of five crores people. Because Amravati, after bifurcation, we all had hope with the formation of Amravati as the capital. We had hope for a new state. And when governments change, the policies should continue and governance should continue. But when this new government led by Mr. Jagan came into power, they went back on their word, saying that Amravati is not the capital, that they'll have three capitals, you know, dividing it into administrative, executive and uh, judicial, this thing. So we've been fighting with the government for the past 807 days, saying that, uh, you know, this is our right and CRDA, to which the farmers had given the land. They have an agreement with the farmers and they can't go back on the agreement and as for Bifurcation Act, AP Reorganization Act, the government which forms first has a right to form a new capital which has already been done by the previous government and government or governance has been continuing in Amaravati for the past uh, of seven and a half years. So just because he came into power and since he thinks he has majority, he thinks he can change the laws according to his whims and fancies, which will not happen. That is what the court proved today. And it told the government that according to the agreement, the plot should be developed and given to farmers within three months. And Amaravati should be developed within six months and they should file pre, uh, you know progressive affidavits with the government stating the developments taking place so this is a victory for us and we thank the high court the judges and the advocates for standing on the side of justice in the kind of for, from the beginning we believed in justice that is why we've been leading the movement in a peaceful way till date and the whole state of andhra pradesh is behind us and this is one of the reasons for our victory we can't express our happiness in our words and we expect the government to obey what the judge has given, what the three bench, you know, high court judge has given the judgment and we'll see to it that the government follows to it and a movement will continue till Amaravati is developed as per the agreement with the farmers so that again we have, you know, a future to look forward to because with the new government coming in, our state has gone back 25 to 30 years and we're all worried about our future, our kids' future. So with this verdict of the uh, AP high court, we again have hopes that we'll have a better future for us and our kids. Thank you. Today, the Honorable High Court pronounced its judgments pertaining to the capital cases. It decided 64 writ petitions filed by the several of the persons challenging the enactments of the three capitals and also uh, CRDA Act. <clears throat> the Honorable High Court directed the government to implement the master plan and its promises under the CRDA Act and also it fixed the uh, time-bound program to file the affidavits pertaining to the progress that was implemented by the state government. It is also uh, a direction to the government and uh, the government has no option except to implement the CRDA Act and also the master plan and its developments. They have to uh, construct the nine cities as promised in the master plan and CRDA Act. The second aspect is it appears that in the judgment, they categorically stated that the government has no legislature competency to enact such acts and they also directed they issued a, a continuous mandamus. As such, the government has no option except to continue the Amaravati as the capital city and they have to implement all the promises under the CRD Act and Master Plan.